Hello everybody, welcome to another Keyforge Mass Mutation deck unboxing. Um, let's dive right into it. The first display was really great and I'm super excited to see what else we got. So the houses we have are Star Alliance, Logos and Saurians, George's, George's? Haughty Labyrinth Primus. Okay. All right, deck list down, and I'm gonna flip the deck over, as suggested by one of the viewers. Galactic Census provides an amber bonus. If there are exactly three or exactly four houses represented among creatures in play, gain one. If there are exactly five, gain two. And if there are six or more, gain three. It's a pretty nice little bit of amber generation there. Particle Sweep with a bonus icon, a bonus amber icon, and a capture icon. Deal two to a creature. If it is a mutant creature, destroy it instead. Lieutenant Commander. I think that's Lieutenant Commander Trigon. Reap. Discard the top card of your deck. Resolve that card's bonus icons as if you had played it. I like that a lot. That's awesome. Uh, teleporter Chief Tink. An elusive action. Swap Teleporter Chief Tink with, your, with another friendly creature in the battle line. You may use that creature this turn. I like Teleporter Chief Tink a lot, and the fact that I have two is going to be a lot of house cheating fun. Speaking of house cheating fun, Subject Kirby, Play Fight Reap, you may play a non Star Lines card this turn. Do you guys prefer Subject Kirby or Officer Kirby? Do you prefer playing creatures out of turn or actions out of turn? Well, let me know. Subdue, deal one to a creature and stun it. Nice. Scout Pete, Play Fight Reap, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard that card. All right. And we have another Scout Pete. Hadron Collision, remove a ward from a creature and deal three damage to it. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. I like that. Ooh, Blast Shielding. This creature gets plus two armor. After this creature is used, its controller may attach Blast Shielding to one of its neighbors. So you could theoretically fight all day long and just keep, keep getting two armor with each fight. <laughs> In that same turn. Nice. Um, also, draw icon and bonus amber icon. Ooh, double blast shielding. Nice. Soul Salt Alpha. Play until the start of your next turn. Creatures cannot reap. Nice. Oh, first time I got this card. Hedonistic Intent. Exalt each flank creature. Whoa, how's that gonna work? It's gonna work with Exile. <laughs> Play. Give control of a friendly creature to your opponent. Thero Centurion, play fight, capture one, nice. Spoils of battle, love this capture card. Prefectus Ludo, nice. If you can't exile, Prefectus helps. Galia Tops, only deals one, oh, only deals four damage when fighting. 12 power big guy. We have Foss the Great, your opponent's keys cost plus one for each friendly creature with Ember on it. And it's got a play effect which allows you to exalt friendly creature. Double Faust. Nice. Faust is... You get a lot of value out of Faust in this set. I, I personally do. So, it's glad that I have... This is my first deck with two. Uh, Curse of Vanity. Play. Exalt a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Works with the exile and the hedonistic intent. Um, Console Primus. Enhance. Yeah, provides the capture icon. I think that was in Particle Sweep. Uh, move one ember from a creature to another creature. Ah, Chant of Hubris. Same thing, but for an action. <laughs> and not on a reap. Logos. Odd Clawed. If your opponent has an odd amount of ember, steal one. Ooh, Novo Dynamo. At the start of your turn, you may discard a Logos card from your hand. Or archives. If you do gain one, otherwise destroy Novo Dynamo. Mutagenic Serum. I don't think I saw a lot of mutants, but we'll see. Group Think Tank. Deal four to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. Forge Compiler. Really cool artifact. After your opponent forges a key, Forge Compiler gets destroyed and you can ward all your friendly creatures. Ooh, Fission Bloom. The next time you play a card this turn, resolve each of its bonus icons an additional time. Wow, I like Bouncing Death Cork. Um, so this is a really good uh, creature creature control. 
Um, destroy an enemy creature and a friendly creature. You may repeat this effect as many times as you like, as long as it is possible to repeat the entire effect. Quick sow the Brad Venture, uh, skirmish and fight, draw a card. Lethologica provides an amber bonus and discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a Logos card or run out of cards. If, oh, if you discarded a Logos card this way, put it into your hand. Nice. Double Lethologica. There's some quick cycling there. Eclectic Inquiry. Good. More cycling. And Bot Booked In. Play the top card of your deck on a repo. So it looks like a pretty promising deck. Um, let's count the bonus icons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen amber pips. You're gonna get a little bit more from Galactic Census in addition to the fifteen amber bonus pips. So that is awesome. Um, let's take a look at your Amber Control. We've got one off the capture. Hmm. I guess this counts, two for So Salt. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So you have seven cards that will immediately um, either capture or steal, but there are ways like Console Primus or Chant of Hubris or Exile, which will allow you to move. All right, guys, so you know what it is. It looks like there's a lot going on here because this deck does have a lot of things going on. Um, I'm highlighting quite a bit here. So let's start with Saurians. What I really like about Saurians is the fact that you are able to capture a decent amount of Ember and put Ember on your creatures. For example, you've got Spoils of Battle here, and then you've got Hedonistic Intent, and you've got Curse of Vanity, in addition to two Faust the Greats. So the advantage to that is if you can kind of strategically place Ember on creatures, Console Primus and Chant of Hubris will allow you to move Ember as well to other creatures. And then you go for that big, 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 big exile play, which I think is going to be super fun to pull off. <laughs> um, Thero just helps with that as well with the capture. And Prefectus, in case you can't exile, Prefectus will hopefully uh, buy you some time um, as far as losing that Ember back to your opponent. Um, so really good. Foss the Great is a really great um, art, uh, Ember Control card in my opinion. And there's a bit of house cheating in here as well with Subject Kirby and your two Teleporter Chief Tanks. So that's going to be really fun. Um, another thing this deck does really good at is speed. So uh, you've got Scout Pete, two of them, which allows you to just on a play discard cards. You have Bot Booked In, which is like a reaping wild wormhole. Eclectic Inquiry allows you to archive the top two cards of your deck. So you're really, this deck really allows you to go th through your deck fast. You know, Lethologica, two of them. So you can actually cycle really quickly. Um, and then you have Quick Sew, just that extra draw counts. And Nobu, which gives you Ember every time you discard uh, a Logos card from your hand at the start of your turn. So that said, Seems like a really quick, uh, fun, very, very uh, momentum swinging type deck, um, particularly in the Saurians. Uh, I had a lot of fun evaluating this actually, I think I'm going to play it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If this is a deck that you would play, do you like the speed, do you like the house cheating, do you like the, the big exile play? Um, yeah, let me know guys and thank you so much.